Yes, it be that time of day again, me hearties. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We pirates have a sense of honor and dignity when it comes to our country. So pay close attention to how to care for the American flag. It be a different kind of respect than the one we give to the Jolly Roger. I'm Caleb. The United States flag is a symbol of our country, our freedom, and all of those who have sacrificed. Our flag represents a living country, which means we should treat it as a living thing. We call this flag etiquette. Here are a few things you should do while handling our flag. Always keep our flag aloft and free. Never, never hold it flat or horizontally. Always keep our flag clean and safe. Never let it get torn, soiled, or damaged. If disposing of a worn flag properly, you should always burn it. This is Caleb signing off and reminding you to treat our national symbols properly. All you scallywags, listen up. It's time to get hooked on a book with this year's book fair. Can you guess what the theme might be? Ahoy there, mates. I'm Caius. I'm getting ready for this year's book fair. In case you have not heard, it has a really fun theme this year. Pirates. Shopping hours will be the same as last year for each day of the book fair. 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock daily, except for family night, which is Tuesday. You can shop till you drop. Hours for shopping, that will be 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Come and feast on a delicious meal from Karabas. Parents are welcome to invite friends, neighbours and relatives for the dinner. Here be a mate of mine with ye grub for today. I'd be as smart as Pate when I tell ye the book fair will be the best me hearties. No sauce for me now. Bring ye booty, cause you'll see lots of books ye like. He'd also like today's mess. Burger on bun, chicken Caesar salad, fries and yogurt snacker. Batten down the hatches now. We pirates have a bad reputation of being a bit rough. But the pirates here at DSA have really big hearts. Here at DSA, we believe that serving others is the purpose of life. Habit number four, think when one says to fill your bucket. Now is your chance to fill someone's bucket. Operation Cruises child gifts to kids who are less fortunate. It's easy, fun, and inexpensive. So, what's involved? Step one, get a shoebox, either cardboard or plastic. But you must have a lid that fits. Decide if you would like to make the box for a boy or a girl. Step three, decide what you would like to send. Here are some great ideas to put in the box. School supplies such as pencils, erasers, colored pencils, notepads, coloring books. You could also send small cars, balls, dolls, stuffed animals, kazoos, jump ropes, yo-yos, or small games. Once you're done filling your box, please place a rubber band and a sticky note with the age and gender the box is meant for. Bring your items to your homeroom class and they'll be collected in mid-November. Or you could bring them to Miss Wilmer's class to the donation center outside her room. Can you bring in items even if you don't have a box? Yes, you can. This is Ellie asking you to think win-win and make it a special day for someone else who is less fortunate. There be an election right around the corner. Here is Dax. Every vote counts. If you want to be a good citizen, do your duty and vote. Who is eligible to vote in our country? In the United States, you are eligible if you are 18. And you also have to be a citizen of the U.S. When you vote in a presidential election, you have a choice between two or more different candidates who are running for office. Voters pick the person they think will do the best job leading our country. My name is Dax. Go educate yourself and get out and vote. Can you guess what a pirate's favorite candy is? Golden nuggets of candy corn, of course. What's your favorite fall treat? Hey Justin, what is your favorite fall treat? Pumpkin cream pie. Mmm, mine too. I'm here with Tyson. Tyson, what is your favorite fall treat? Cookies. My favorite is candy corn. Cookies. Cornbread. Listen up for some news nuggets from me mates. 
Hello, I'm Jeremiah with the Davenport Dish. DSA has done it again. Congratulations to all fourth and fifth graders that made it to the All-State Choir. We sure have a lot to be proud of here at our school. Congratulations to the following students who got artwork accepted to the Polk Museum of Art. Good morning, my name is Zoe. Habit number two is a great way to be a good success. Habit number two says that I plan ahead and set goals. Do things that have a meaning or make a difference. I am an important part of my class and I contribute to my school's mission and vision. And I look for ways to be a good citizen. My sea legs are getting a bit weak, so see you at the book fair.